It seems that for the Lakers the road has been bumpier than we expected, especially when it comes to defense, and let's be honest, they've been quite underwhelming. Now with the news of Jared Vanderbilt and Gabe Vincent returning in the coming weeks, there's a glimmer of hope on the horizon. But between us, is that enough to right the ship? In this video, we'll dissect exactly that question and see if the Lakers have what it takes to turn things around. So slam that like button and subscribe to the channel to help us grow. In an attempt to navigate a season marked by ups and downs, the Lakers find themselves facing news that could very well be the light at the end of the tunnel. Gabe Vincent is on the road to recovery. For those who have been keeping track, Vincent is not just another player on the roster. He brings with him a particular skill set that is missed in a team. It's not every day you come across talent like his. I watched him play last year for Miami, and he was essential for that team. He can balance the art of scoring from long distance and still excel in defending the opponent's point of attack. The lingering question, which isn't the easiest to answer, is how Vincent will fit back into the Lakers' current dynamics. After all, his absence was felt not only in the numbers, but in the essence of the team's gameplay strategy. His return promises to redefine the perimeter, offering the Lakers that versatility that, let's face it, has been a bit inconsistent lately. With Vincent on the court, opponents will have to think twice before advancing, knowing that every attempt at a point can be promptly answered with a precise counterattack. And if there's one thing the Lakers need now, it's that strategic depth that Vincent brings with him. He's not just a player who goes out there and scores points, he changes the game, commands respect on offense, and brings that defensive security that makes every opponent have to work twice as hard to find openings. In summary, Gabe Vincent's reintroduction isn't just a reinforcement, it's a catalyst for the Lakers to rediscover their ideal rhythm, balancing defense and attack with the mastery we all know they're capable of demonstrating. As fans eagerly await Vincent's return to the court, the expectation is that his presence will be the push the Lakers need to solidify their position and make a significant playoff run. After all, in a game where every detail counts, having someone of Vincent's caliber can very well be the difference between a forgettable season and a memorable journey towards success. In the current Lakers landscape, Jared Vanderbilt's absence has also been more than noticeable. It's been a factor directly contributing to the gaps observed in the team's defense. Without Vanderbilt on the court, the Lakers have seen a worrying decrease in obtaining offensive rebounds. To put it into perspective, every missed rebound is one less chance to score and, at the same time, an opportunity given to the opponent to control the game. Vanderbilt's presence, with his ability to secure those rebounds, transcends mere statistics. It's a vital component that drives both the team's defensive effectiveness and offensive momentum. As Vanderbilt nears his return, it's not just the expectation of regaining that rebounding edge that excites the team and fans, but also the prospect of bolstering the defense as a whole. Vanderbilt's energy and physical presence are the kind that inspire not only blocks and interceptions, but also a general increase in team morale. There's something contagious about the way he approaches defense, a mix of intensity and court intelligence that has the power to elevate the game of everyone around him. Moreover, Vanderbilt's defensive versatility offers the Lakers a tactical flexibility that has been difficult to replicate in his absence. With him, the team can more easily adapt to opponents' different offensive strategies, something crucial in a league where each game can present a unique challenge. Whether guarding opposing top scorers or securing possession at critical moments, Vanderbilt is the kind of player whose impact goes beyond the numbers on a stat sheet. The expectation with his return is that the Lakers will not only see tangible improvements in their defense, but also feel a renewed sense of confidence. This return doesn't just represent one more player in the rotation, it symbolizes the return of a playing style that values grit, determination, and cohesion qualities indispensable for any team seeking success in the playoffs. As Vanderbilt prepares to return to action, what is observed is a mixture of anticipation and optimism. His reintegration into the team is not just a matter of when, but of how his presence will redefine what the Lakers can achieve this season. With Vanderbilt on the court, the team not only gains an exceptional defender, but also a silent leader whose impact could very well be the spark the Lakers need to reignite their championship aspirations. Now we have to address the turnaround the Lakers faced halfway through the season. This 
is not something that can simply be swept under the rug. The defense, once considered one of the team's strengths, suddenly became one of its biggest headaches. Watching the defensive rating slip from an impressive 110.8 to a concerning 115.7, and with that dropping to the 18th position in the league, is a reality that has been difficult to accept for fans and undoubtedly for the players themselves. This decline is not just a number in a statistic, it's a direct reflection on the team's chances of making a significant playoff run. The question remains, what led to this drastic change? Initially, the Lakers' defensive strategy seemed solid, channeling opposing attacks in a way that the defense could manage and even dominate. However, over time, it seems that opponents found the formula to decipher and exploit the Lakers' defensive weaknesses. And worse yet, the team failed to adapt or respond in time to avoid the negative impact of these exploitations. The frustration of both fans and players is palpable. It was expected that the Lakers, with their legacy and talent, could not only maintain a strong defense but also adapt and overcome challenges. After all, adaptability and resilience are trademarks of great teams. However, this drop in defensive effectiveness has raised questions about the team's responsiveness, both at the individual and collective levels. This is not a problem that can be solved by just one player or a quick change in strategy. It's a challenge that requires a complete and honest review of what isn't working and a commitment from everyone within the organization to address it. For the Lakers, time is of the essence. With the season progressing rapidly and the playoffs approaching, finding a solution to this defensive decline is not only crucial for the team's immediate ambitions, but also to demonstrate that they can compete at the highest level. Ultimately, this challenging period for the Lakers in defense can serve as a wake-up call. The team has the talent, experience and leadership ability to reverse this trend. The key will be in coming together, focusing on strategic adjustments and reigniting the passion and intensity that made the Lakers defense one of the most feared in the league. It remains to be seen how this story will unfold, but one thing is certain, the eyes of the fans will be keenly watching, hoping to see the team they know and love rise from the ashes. Looking ahead, the upcoming games will be decisive in determining whether the Lakers can turn this optimism into concrete results. The task won't be easy, considering the persistent challenges in defensive transition and the need for tactical adjustments. However, I believe that with the adaptability the team showed in the in-season tournament, there is legitimate hope that they can find the right balance between offense and defense, essential for advancing firmly towards the playoffs. Now, I want to hear from you. Looking at this picture, do you think the Lakers can overcome all these challenges or do you think some team will stop them? Which team do you think that will be? Leave your ideas and theories in the comments because this conversation is only complete with the participation of each one of you. Before I finish, I want to thank everyone for their attention. Every click, every share and every word of support makes a difference. I hope you subscribe to the channel and continue to follow our content. See you in the next video.